Welcome to another educative episode of AgroLink, the show that promotes agriculture in Africa, with a focus on the University of Cape Coast, particularly the School of Agriculture. This episode will focus on the Animal Science Department with a look at some initiatives it has taken to promote agriculture in Africa. I'm Dr. Julius Kofi Hagan, head of department of uh, Department of Animal Science, School of Agriculture, uh, College of Agriculture and Natural Sciences, University of Cape Coast. The Department of Animal Science started as a unit in the 80s and grew to become a fully fledged department in the 90s. The department has expertise in animal breeding and genetics animal nutrition, meat science and technology, and pasture and rangeland cultivation. The department currently runs a two-year post-diploma program in animal production. And we also have MPhil and PAD programs in animal science with specializations in animal breeding and genetics, animal nutrition, meat science and technology, and what we call livestock management of livestock enterprises. The department has a history of producing best graduates, both um, undergraduate and postgraduate students in the animal sciences to fill gaps in academia, industry, NGOs, public and civil service. The Department of Animal Science has a vision to become a center of excellence in teaching, research, and outreach in anything related to climate change resilience. And currently, the department has been able to discover the usefulness of palm kernel oil residue. So we've been able to develop a feed from what used to be a waste product, which we now use to feed poultry and other livestock species like rabbits and pigs. And farmers who have difficulty in finding feed for their livestock can now rely on feed being uh, developed by the department. Again, the department is also into research, trying to develop a local breed of rabbits. We've realized that rabbit production is now gaining momentum and it's going to be used as one of the cheapest sources of animal protein. So any advances in rabbit production will go a long way to help farmers to be able to meet their protein needs. So the department is um, undertaking a research aimed at developing a local breed of rabbit to be used by farmers in the country and even beyond. Currently, the department is getting support from Drake with the Directorate of Research, um, Innovation and Consultancy, which is one of the uh, units in the university. So we are getting support from the university and also colleagues in the department are also contributing to this kind of research. We are trying to get collaboration from international organizations into rabbit research. Uh, this research is intended to support farmers who are into rabbit production and also to help other researchers who are also into rabbit research and it's also part of our contribution to community service. We are also training farmers who want to go into rabbit production. So basically we are helping farmers and also other college researchers. Yeah, the department collaborates a lot with Ministry of Food and Agriculture, especially staff of APD, that is Animal Production Directorate. We run courses for staff of APD and also train um, other staff of MOFA, that's Ministry of Food and Agriculture, and VSD, that is Veterinary Service Directorate. So we upgrade their skills, and whenever there are new things, we also update them and uh, increase their knowledge level so that they can also impact this on the farmers. Animal industry in the country is 
more or less at an infant stage because there's a lot of concentration on crop production at the expense of animal uh, production. So if you look at the contribution of the animal sector to GDP, you realize that it is far below because there is a lot of concentration on crops. So the department as part of its contribution to the development of the livestock sector, we are promoting livestock production so that it can contribute more to GDP. So some of the staff of APD who have been trained, their knowledge has been uh, increased and they used to have difficulties in getting some of the innovations we've had. So through this collaboration, we've been able to train them and they also train farmers better on some of the husbandry practices that to enhance productivity. In Africa, just like Ghana has been having difficulties in promoting livestock industry, Africa in general also has difficulty in the promoting livestock industry. So any intervention on livestock development will go a long way to help the animal industry in Africa in general. So efforts are being made, and livestock um, scientists or animal scientists are putting ideas together to be able to come out with a very comprehensive approach and holistic approach that will help develop the livestock sector. The concentration on crops at the expense of livestock is, is very tony. I don't know why in Africa we are concentrating so much on crops. Maybe we have um, a lot of challenges in the animal industry because to promote livestock industry you need a lot of infrastructure development which we are not uh, there yet, especially in an area of animal breeding, we don't have the expertise, we don't have the infrastructure, we don't have other logistics that will be needed to develop breeds that are adaptable to our environment. So there are several contributory factors to this over-reliance on crops as compared to animals. And because we also rely on a lot of importation to fill the gap, most of our animal product consumed are imported from developed countries. So it's more or less, we, we have a problem, but our solution has been importation. Unlike crops, which mostly we can uh, produce them locally. Livestock production and animal production in general has had difficulty in attracting students, both graduate and undergraduates. So the department, as part of its effort to promote livestock development, we have tried to revise our curriculum to make it attractive. It used to be theoretical. Now we are making it attractive by incorporating other practical component of the program and also business related aspect of the program to make it attractive. We are also running what we call a short courses to promote the growth of the industry so that people will know the opportunities in the industry so that when they finish they will be able to know where they can find jobs. And one of the things we are doing is to run a radio talk show where we are promoting livestock industry in general. So these are things we are doing to attract students into the department. It is not only School of Agri in UCC, but most department of animal science in the country and even outside the country, they are facing challenges attracting students to read animal science related programs. Uh, most of our products end up in several, in academia, they can be absorbed in teaching, either from uh, universities, training colleges, secondary schools, you find them also in the banks as project managers for most livestock related uh, ventures. You can also find them in public service, the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, where you have the APD, especially the uh, special directorate, which is in charge of animal production. You can also find them in uh, civil service. You go to most of the uh, MDAs, ministry department and agencies, you find our products there. You can also find them in international organizations like FAO, you can also find them in ADRA. Almost every um, part 
of the world you find animal scientists but the problem has been uh, their inability to discover these opportunities so the department is trying to open up some of these opportunities so that they will know where they can find themselves in when they complete i believe um, production is also um, to become self-employed you have to go into production so one of the things we encourage most of our students to do is to establish their own farm so you don't complete school and look for jobs but rather you become self-employed and because you've been trained and you've gone through the best practices you'll be able to do it best and you become better off than those who have not had the training so we train people to also go into farming especially a lot of businessmen who want to go into farming and with no animal science background so we have courses which are tailor-made to help these people to be able to do it and do it well the issue of GMO is very thorny and dicey. It's difficult to say yes or no. In my opinion, in our part of the world, we are not there yet. We are not ready because GMO, you need infrastructure, you need the logistics. The awareness has not been created yet. The education has not gone deep. So there's the need for awareness creation. Even colleague scientists have difficulty understanding what GMOs are. So it's very difficult to either accept or reject at this point in time because there are a lot of um, logic, um, legal framework, logistics which have not been put in place. Advanced countries where these things have been accepted, they do a lot of infrastructure development, the legal framework, the policies must be put in place so that when these things are accepted you can moderate uh, you can regulate their use because they have their perceived challenges which we've not been able to identify such challenges as at now so it is difficult to accept and reject so personally i will propose that there should be a lot of education and awareness must be created so that people will know what they are going in for so then it's very difficult. We are currently Department of Animal Science at the University of Cape Coast is doing a lot of work with uh, Reforum, ADRA, and what we are now doing is to partner international organization on animal welfare. We've realized that the way we slaughter our animals are not done in a humane way. So we are partnering international organization on animal welfare training farmers on humane way of slaughtering so that the meat we will consume will be wholesome and will be the best. We have had a lot of challenges with meat quality. So we are partnering this organization to help us to know best practices as far as slaughtering of animal is concerned. Yeah, the Department of Animal Science hopes to expand its center of excellence in rabbit research we want to become a one-stop shop where anything related to rabbits, you can't get it anywhere. Currently, it is the only center in the country where we are doing a very intensive research in rabbit science. So our future plan is to expand it, get international collaborators, get other institutions to be on board, supply very good foundation stock, to farmers who want to go into rabbit farming and also to use the place as a training center for everybody who is interested in going into rabbitry. So our doors are open for collaboration for other people who are interested in getting training and also for colleagues, uh, animal scientists in the country to come and tap resources we have over here. I want to tell um, everybody that the animal industry has a lot of potentials. Let's try to um, develop the animal industry because it is one of the ways in which our animal protein needs can be met. There are a lot of opportunities in the industry. If we develop it, problem with unemployment will be the thing of the past. It will increase our income and over-reliance of importation will also be reduced. And our city, which has had a lot of issues with um, this dollarization, will go down, it will save our cities 
a currency will be very good and in terms of um, getting a lot of income and also getting a lot of foreign exchange we can also export animal products so we should all help to develop the animal industry because animal industry is the way to go thank you